Okay, the fifth house is the power of love, your creations, and investment gambles, gamblings, and or other games. I don't know what kind of gambling games there are out there. But yeah, so power of love. Sixth house is service, what is good for us um, in humanity, and also including your work. Seventh house is balance and the cooperation between um, two people or more and your partner singul singular or plural so your partner or partners your eighth house is the eighth house is personal power the mysteries of life the mysteries about life a major change ninth house is your spiritual values <laughs> spiritual values what is to be shared long-range traveling long-range thinking or travel the tenth house is your destiny where you're going and your career your like ultimate destiny and the eleventh house is freedom and associations and your circle of friends your friend circles and the twelfth house is your faith and hidden tendencies to act or believe to think um, tendencies to like have <laughs> and large institutions or overwhelming events that occur in life your life and then you got your planets you got Sun which in these karma cards is realization leadership willpower acting like w taking charge um, between like groups of people or just in progressing things demonstrate to demonstrate the moon is to is defensive and also accepting and let your feelings tell you how to um, set things up <laughs> I guess Mercury is a planet of communication analyzing uh, clarification analyze analyticalism let your mind tell you how to communicate and then Venus is cherish love enjoyment charm art and beauty the way to it Mars the driven the drive the confrontation in Mars and action Jupiter's the granting of the blessings blessings from and also if Jupiter is good fortune Saturn is maturity that brings forth good tidings and caution regarding like action settings um, places <laughs> what to do, what not to do, and also limitations imposed that were have been imposed. Uranus is uh, stir up the situation by using Uranus, which is also the consciousness, like universal consciousness planet, which is when you use like your divine light and you start putting things piecing together consciousness to achieve like the ultimate nirvana or like peace um it's instilled in your mind <laughs> like peaceful sphere <laughs> peaceful of spiritualism it's also be open to new ideas about consciousness invent a way to kind of build and structure things, add things to the earth in life <laughs> or all living. Neptune, idealization of third eye chakra, idealization of light, confusion, 
or visions, light and visions, confusion regarding situations, and also the virtue of sacrifice, what a sacrifice can do to you, and what the meaning of sacrifice um, truly is. Planet of Pluto, the need for control of. Um, Pluto's cool. <laughs> an obsession, also an obsession, and a power struggle. There's also to resurrect is correlated to Pluto, is so said, to get to the heart of the matter to it. And it's do or die, like a hit or miss, do or die. You must have, you must have for Pluto. And then you have cards they're the nodes you got like the dragon's head and the dragon's tail the north no node is the dragon's head the south node is the dragon's tail and i think they're orbital alignments but the north node there will be and um, success from and benefit something to do with karma the nodes um alignment orbital alignment i think and the south node has remembrance to reconsider and now is not the time to act upon um, such a situation and those are the cards the guidebook it tells you keywords messages warnings for the planets and it gives you there's a couple visuals in here it also, let me see, um, talks about techniques for laying, like, the spreads, spread designs, so yeah, that's pretty much it.